So I'm out here uh, grilling some chicken <clears throat> for dinner. I figured it was a good time for story time. So this past spring when I took all the trees out from uh, storage, which is right back in there, I pulled this thing out. And I'm thinking like, what? What is this? <laughs> it's amazing, I have like a dozen trees. You think I'd remember them. Meanwhile, Peter Chan walks around acres of thousands of trees. This was an air lair I started 30 years ago. But anyway, it was dead as you can see. I just couldn't remember what the hell it was. And then it finally occurred to me that this was the little Dawn Redwood cutting that I just could not wait to check the status of. Hold on, I gotta check the status of that chicken. Give me one sec. This is the one that I dug out of my giant thing of cuttings. And at some point, I must have damaged the roots or something or whatever. I mean, it's dead. And so, panicked. And I said, oh shit, I better go check on all those cuttings. Hopefully this isn't representative of all of them. So, so I ran over, dragged out the giant, wicked, heavy thing of cuttings out into the yard. Check it out. And we ripped it open. And sure enough, there were buds Ooh, everywhere. Buds. Buds, buds, buds. Even on the nine barks, of which I only had a few that seemed to have t taken from the cuttings. And so it was the right time of year to get them all out of there. So. Rather than try to dig and pry away like I did with this stupid thing here. Well, you, you'll see what I did. I just kind of did, did a dump. <laughs> and that worked out pretty good. And you can see the mass of roots from all those cuttings just kind of growing in together. And then from there, it was just a matter of, you know, keeping them moist. Okay, good girl, don't touch anymore. Okay, good. And potting them all up. Can you see what I'm doing? I tried a little bit to spread the roots out, but really that's not what this was about. Maybe that would have been the best thing to do, but I just, you know, I had too many to do. Um, so really it was just about getting them into the pot, planted, watered up. At the end, I took all the cuttings that didn't have buds, but that had roots, and I just bundled them all up into one pot. Uh, they've since died, or I've just since abandoned them because they never pushed any new growth. But that said, here's one that only just pushed new growth now, and it is early June. Okay. So yeah, here's the count, count think, is more or less. One, two of the nine barks. Maybe that's a third nine bark, so three nine barks actually made it. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, I don't know, somewhere in the 14, 15 range. Of the Dawn Redwoods plus so that's plus not plus bad. Plus I mean, going back and looking at the amount that I put in there. See what happens there. I mean, I don't know the math off the top of my head. It's, it's, it's like maybe less than half. So that's kind of it, except it's not. Because when something works, hold on, chicken. That's a hot spot right there. When something works, just double down, right? Double down, go big. Or as a friend of mine says, do it like you mean it. So if you're one of the people that I promised a cutting to, and you didn't get one, just hang tight. If you don't get it this fall, I'll certainly have enough come spring, so. That's it. Pretty simple video, it's more of an update. They're not doing quite as good 
as they were last year. I'm having some drainage issues with the tub. It's not quite draining, so it's more of standing water than sort of just a moist environment like it was last year. I don't know, I guess it's always been a little standing watery in there. Again, we'll see. And hang tight. If I promised you a cutting, you'll get your, you'll get your cutting. You'll get your cutting. Maybe.